Hello everybody, in this video we'll be looking at how to get started with uh, PowerShell uh, or how to run similar version as I am running so you can take the most advantage of the whole course. I would be running the latest PowerShell which, well not the latest but the latest ver major version uh, which is 5 so I'll show you how to do that so if I do a PS version table dot PS version uh, the first one has a dollar which means it's a variable so we'll talk about what variables are and what's an environment variable for now and there's an environment variable called PS version table which has a property called PS version so if I press enter uh, you see how the major version is 5 so as long as you're running version 5 I think you should be good uh, the latest updates of Windows uh, do have version 5 uh, running but if you don't if you're running Windows 7 like I do I'll show you where to go and get the PowerShell version 5. So if I minimize this, if you go to Google and search for Windows Management Framework 5, you've got this download Windows Management Framework 5.1. I think you probably have to download 5.1. They don't let you download 5 now, unless there is an archive that you can go and download it from. So you just click on the download button and pick the version type of Windows you have. Most Windows computers now are x64. So I downloaded this Windows 7 and took a 8 R2 because I'm running Windows 7 but if you're running Windows 10 for Windows 10 it comes built in so you don't have to download this. So there you go like uh, if you're running Windows 8 or Windows 7 you want to install it on a server that's how you do it. If you go back just download the file uh, let's say you want to download this one right here like I did and then go next there's a little next button there you go it started downloading so I'm just going to cancel that I'm recording part of my screen so it's bigger for you to see it on your phone so yeah that's how you download and install once you download it you open the zip file you run the installer there's nothing you have to do literally there's no one thing you have to do just run the installer install it uh, updates PowerShell and once it does it comes up with a restart prompt to restart the computer because it's uh, downloaded the uh, whole management framework and PowerShell is uh, part of it. Once you restart, it should have PowerShell version 5. You can run this command again to verify and or you can just print dollar PS version table and it'll print the whole table. PS version is just there, right? It tells you it split it up right here, but it gives you as one string and uh, yeah you can go on and verify and as I was telling you earlier in the introduction video that it uses .NET CLR or it's built on top of .NET CLR that's where the version of .NET CLR is and a PS remoting is an interesting concept we'll look at that in the future it's running that version of PS uh, remote protocol and yeah we'll talk more about that so this is how you can get up to speed as to the version I'm running and, and you can follow along for the rest of the course. To start a conversation, leave a comment to this video. Hit the bell icon if you'd like to be notified every time I upload a video. Don't be a miser. Share it with others.